In this procedure, you'll learn to schedule appointments for established patients and reschedule appointments for no-shows. To schedule a follow-up, you'll need the patient's information, the provider to be seen, and the type of appointment. So what can I help you with today? Dr. Martin asked me to schedule a follow-up two weeks after I give my new medicine a try. Enter the patient's name and date of birth. Verify that you've selected the right patient. Sure, can you spell your name for me? Brandy, B-R-A-N-D-I, Greer, G-R-E-E-R. -E -E okay, let's see. Well, there you are. Can you verify your date of birth? 320-85. Okay, got it. Thanks. To facilitate patient flow, block out the right amount of time for the appointment. Use scheduling guidelines to figure out how long the doctor will need. It looks like your follow-up visit will take about 15 minutes. Is there a time of day that you prefer? Uh, midday or afternoon would work best for me. Okay, that sounds good. Let's see what we have. Okay. Offer the patient the first suitable appointment and one or two alternatives. If you know her scheduling preferences, take them into account. Yeah, I know it's hard to take off time for work for this. Um, how about two weeks from Thursday on the... Demonstrate sensitivity and offer good customer service by being flexible. Or there's a 12.30 open on Thursday the 29th. Would that work better? That's perfect. I can come on my lunch break. Okay, great. Let's get you on the schedule. Enter the appointment and check the patient's contact details. Can you verify your phone number for me? 636-388. If you're using an appointment book, write with a pencil. Be sure to get the patient's full name and phone number and any other information your facility requires. Using appointment reminder cards discourages no-shows. Be sure the date and time on the card matches the appointment time you and the patient agreed on. Here's your reminder card. We'll see you on Thursday, 29th at 12.30. Thank you so much. All right, I look forward to it. Thanks, have a good day. You too. Bye. To reschedule an appointment, you'll need the same info you'd need for a regular appointment, the patient's details, the provider to be seen, and the type of appointment. Don't forget to identify the patient. Thank you for calling Dr. Anderson's office. This is Jessica, how may I help you? Hi, Mrs. Greer. I'm sorry you can't make it in to see Dr. Anderson today. Let me pull up your chart. Can you give me your full name and date of birth? Estimate how much time the doctor will need based on the type of appointment. Okay, it looks like we can get you in tomorrow at the same time. Would that work for you? Just as you would for a regular appointment, offer a choice of dates and times. Okay then, what about Monday at 8.15 in the morning? Block out time for the appointment and note the patient's contact details. 555-2335. Five, 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 three, three, Remember to delete the old appointment so that the patient will no longer be expected. The time slot then becomes available to other patients. Great, you're all set. We'll see you then. Thanks. For legal purposes, if a patient misses a scheduled visit, it must be recorded as a no-show in the appointment book and in the patient's health record.